slowdown and political uncertainty in Russia is starting to weigh on revenue and sales at some European and American businesses. Hi there, I'm Ben Jones and welcome to Thursday's Press Review. Cigarette companies, brewers and banks are all being damaged by the weakening Russian economy. And now with the standoff with the West, further sanctions are weighing on prospects for many large multinational organisations. A steep drop in the ruble is also damaging trade and profit forecasts. As a result of the weakening Russian economy, Carlsberg have posted a 14% decline in their net revenue in Eastern Europe. Imperial Tobacco have seen a 7% fall in their sales in Russia, where 40% of the population smokes. And Mastercard say sanctions could really cause complications, as 2% of their transactions are made in Russia. A further decline in the Russian economy is expected, as the HSBC Services and Manufacturing PMI for Russia saw its biggest contraction in five years. As well as the weakening economy, sanctions have directly affected one US organisation that makes chips to protect equipment from solar flares. It predicts losses of $2 million in revenue as sanctions prevent them from selling to the Russian military. French bank Societe Generale, which owns one of Russia's largest private lenders, have blamed their 13% first quarter net profit decline on the weakening ruble. A chief executive at Mastercard has stated, I don't think this is a sabre-rattling situation any longer. I think this is going to be tough to work for almost everybody, governments and companies, over the next few months or periods of time. It might last longer than that. Well, that's all for today's press review. Thanks for watching. Natalie MacDonald will be bringing you another edition tomorrow and make sure you stay tuned today as later on Sophia Arebo will be bringing you a look at that all-important ECB rate decision. Bye for now.